In this lesson, we'll take a look at the other two primary trigonometric ratios called the sine and cosine ratios. So there are two other important right angle triangle ratios other than the tangent ratio that we looked at in the previous lesson. And in a right triangle in the tangent lesson, we uh, defined what the opposite side is and the adjacent side. Remember, this is the angle theta referring to the angle straight across from it or opposite is called the opposite side. The side right beside the angle that's not the hypotenuse is called the adjacent. And the uh, side that is opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So that side we do need for these two trig ratios. We did not need that for the tangent ratio. Now the sine ratio, and that's the whole word. On your scientific calculator, you'll see just the word the letters S-I-N, and it's just an abbreviation for the word sign. It's still pronounced sign, not sin. The sine ratio is defined as the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. And we write the sine of an angle, theta in this case, is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. And the uh, regular or often used abbreviation for opposite is OPP does not stand for Ontario Provincial Police here. And the abbreviation for the hypotenuse is just HYP. So we're just using the first three letters for each of each word. The cosine ratio is defined as a ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. And so we write cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. The, between the three of them, the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios are called the primary trigonometric ratios. There are actually three others that you'll study in the grade 11 course, the 3U course. Now, what's written at the bottom, and this is pronounced SOKATOA, it's an acronym for remem remembering which ratio each of the trig ratios are, which ratio of sides. And SOH, the beginning, is an acronym for sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So SOH means sine is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. CAH, the CA in the middle, stands for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the last three letters in the end, TOA, stand for tan is the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent side. So SOKATOA is another is an acronym that's used to remember what sine, cos, and tan are, the ratio of which sides. Flipping over to the second page and the first couple of examples, in the first one we're asked to find the three primary trig ratios for angle theta. And here's angle theta in the triangle, and so we should label the three sides, the adjacent, opposite, and the hypotenuse. So for this angle, the 1.8 is opposite it, straight out from it, so we'll call that the opposite side. The 4.6 is beside it, and it's not the hypotenuse, so the 4.6 is the adjacent. And the longest side here, the side opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse, so we'll label the 4.9 centimeter side as the hypotenuse. So now that we have the three sides labeled, we can write out what sine, cos, and tan of each the angle is equal to. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse side, so we would take 1.8 and divide it by the 4.9. And so 1.8 divided by 4.9 is approximately 0.3673. Now notice I've, I'm keeping several decimal places here. There's a note in your textbook about this as well in this section. And the reason for that is so that the angle um, measurement stays fairly precise. For example, if I were to round this to 0.4, and then if I wanted to try to find the angle like we'll do in example 2, uh, I could be off by several degrees. So keep several decimal places. I usually keep 4, and if you ever see any tables of trig values, you'll notice that they're often 4 as well. The cosine ratio is the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is the 4.6 side, and the hypotenuse is the 4.9. And so we would divide 4.6 by 4.9 and get cos of the angle is about 0.9388. The tan ratio is the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent, so we would divide the 1.8 by the 4.6. And so 1.8 divided by 4.6 is approximately 0.3913. So that's the tan of the angle. So that's the primary, the three primary trig ratios for this angle. 
In example two, it says find angle theta here. So here's our diagram. Notice we only have two sides labeled. So unless we were to find this side, it restricts us to, restricts us to which trig ratio we can use. And we could use Pythagoras' theorem to find this side if we wanted to, but we don't really need to. Now in this triangle, if that's angle theta, this side over here would be the adjacent side. It's the side right beside the angle, and this is the hypotenuse up here. So we have actually the adjacent and the hypotenuse side. So I cannot use sine because sine needs the opposite and the hypotenuse, and I can't use tan either because tan needs the opposite and the adjacent. The trig ratio that does involve both the adjacent side and the hypotenuse is the cos ratio. Cosine of any angle is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So since those two sides, the two sides that I do know, are uh, in the ones used to find cos, uh, that's why I would use cosine to find the angle. So I'll write cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, the normal cosine ratio, and we'll substitute the 12.6 and the 15 in place of the adjacent and hypotenuse. We'll divide out the 12.6 by 15, and that's approximately, actually it's exactly 0.84. And then we'll take the inverse cosine. Now this inverse cosine, that's the name for this, is a function on your calculator that allows you to find an angle if you know what the cosine is, or if you're doing sine, it's the inverse sine if you know what the sine of the angle is. And that's the same idea as from the tangent ratio note when we knew the tan of an angle and we could find the angle then. So to find the unknown angle, we take the inverse tan of the 0.84 and that will give us approximately 33 degrees. Now you normally round this to the nearest degree, but you might sometime, for example, be asked to round to, let's say, the nearest tenth, and then you would do that. But nor norm normal uh, procedure is to round to the nearest degree. Now, that, eva that calculation looks like this. This is what I would actually punch in my calculator. Notice it's 32.85988, etc. And of course, that would round to 33 degrees.